Welcome na naman po sa isang episode ng Makina Moto Features. Oo, andito na tayo sa bagong normal. At masasabi na natin na mas lalong umiinit ang consideration sa motorsiklo bilang pangunahin mode of transportation. Nakakalungkot man sabihin, pero medyo mapapaisip ka na ngayon eh, di ba? Bago ka mag-MRT, jeep, or bus, di ba? Iwas rubbing elbows muna habang wala pang vaccine. Pero ika nga, tuloy ang ikot ng mundo at tuloy ang paglabas ng motor ng mga manufacturers. Now, bago rumatsyada ng todo-todo ang coronavirus noon, nailaunch na ng Honda PH ang kaabang-abang na Honda Supra GTR 150. Ito ang latest offering nila sa sport underbone genre, isang napaka-importanting segment ng motor sa Pilipinas. Underbones are very popular, tapos sport pa. Diba? Pag sinabi mo ng sport, that conveys a level of competitive performance offered to the consumer. Pag binangsagan mo ng sport ang produkto mo, ang expectation ay mataas. Para mong sinabing oo, athlete ako sa larangan ng basketball, professional, sport level, subukan mo ko at tignan mo kung gano'ng kalupit sumut ng bola. Parang ganon. The Supra is a four-stroke machine. Meron siyang four valves. It is liquid-cooled and is DOHC or double overhead cam. Ayos yan. Doon pa lang parang nilapag na nila lahat ng pwede. Diba? Parang sinabi ng Honda, sige, ano ba ba gusto nyo? Yun na yun eh. 150cc siya. Gulong ay 17 inches both rear and front. Fuel injected. Six speed. Okay din ako dyan. Kasi ba diba, nakakatawa. Unti-unti na ito nagiging norm sa 150cc arena. Kasi dati puro five speed lang eh. And everybody was saying, Ah, sana 6-speed na, di ba? Kaya. O, oh, yan na. Halos lahat nagiging 6-speed na. Suspension is a mono shock at the rear with telescopic forks out front. Fuel capacity is 4.5 liters and ang langis naman ay 1.3 liters. Seat height is a Pinoy friendly 786 mm with horsepower at 15.6 HP at 9,000 RPM. Pag nakaparada ka lang, stationary with no load, sagad yung makina at 145 kph. In the real world, aabot naman ang Supra sa mga 132 kph. Can it reach its full potential of 145? Depende na sa timbang mo. Ang timbang ko ay isang kaseksihan na 170 pounds and I am 6 feet tall. Dahil nga sporty siya, ang suspension niya ay papunta sa firm at mas matigas in my mind at least compared to the Airblade na mas designed for general riding and bringing along someone. The Supra is geared for the solo rider in the sense na yung upuan niya mas subsob at mas sporty yung stance kasi sport nga eh. Yes, pwede umangkas pero doon ako sa Airblade kung ganun ang gagawin mo. It's gonna be more comfortable. Yes, pwede rin sa Supra pero mas pwede ang kasa ng Airblade. Pero pwede nga sa Supra pero mas pwede sa Airblade. Pero pwede but must play the, you get the picture here you have it ladies and gentlemen this is the Honda Supra GTR 150 Honda calls this the speed aggressor so let's get into what Honda is trying to sell it ba ba binibenta sa atin ni Honda the Honda Supra GTR 150 basically this is an offering from Honda na pwede mong gamitin pang trabaho pang araw-araw at the same time serious hong sport underbone that's what they're trying to campaign they're not passing this off as just a commuter bike they're really serious when they say this This is a proper sporty underbone bike that you can use every day as well. All right, let's get into some of the features that it has. So take a closer look at the bike. One of the good things that I like about this is that it is six speed. For me, that is a good thing. You know how it is before. Everybody's complaining, ah, oh, kaya pa ng six speed dyan. And the customers always find things that they want to do with their car bike. Like, dati, di ba, hanggang five speed lang yung mga gantong motor. Biglang, dapat six speed na yun eh. Kaya pa yan eh, six speed. La, 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 la. So, this is a six speed bike now. Also, double overhead cam, di ba? Tada, DOHC. So, performance. Okay, I mean, I prefer a DOHC any day. Another cool thing, it is liquid cooled. See, lip, see, lip. See? It's liquid cooled. Tapos LED headlight din siya. These are the good things about the bike. Now, if 
I go back again here and we look at the full design and what it is espousing. It is aggressive looking, definitely. I will agree that it is sporty looking. It's sharp, right? It's a, it's a very sharp design. If you look at the front facade, it is also very, very aggressive looking right that is a modern looking headlight i would say so with an age-old design the underbone bah, it looks modern check it out one of the good things i also like about this and linis and likod you can't see the rear shocks nakatago siya mono doon there see nakatago siya so when you look at it here linis diba very sporty looking very nice tires tires is 90 80 17. kamag siya this brakes at the front Sa likod, disc brake din siya. Tires are IRC 120-70-17. So that's what you got going on for the tires. Gauge naman tayo ngayon. This is quite a simple gauge, but it is functional. Super bare essentials. You have the fuel gauge, speedometer, odometer, and gear indicator. Yun na yun. I wish there was just more things going on with the gauge, maybe. Since we're na tayo, eh, diba? You're in a digital meter. But Honda opted to go minimalist on this. So closer look. Check out the detail on the plastic, right? It's got this uh, feeling carbon look. <laughs> look at that. Does not look cheap at all. Okay naman siya. The grips, I'm not too happy with this whole diamond thing. Palitan ko yan. Hindi bagay for the rest of the bike, that style. Go for, you know, sportier looking grips for that. I always complain on the side view mirrors of bikes from this displacement. Pero, ito, I'm kind of mixed. I don't like this. It's too thin for me. I prefer, you know, beefier side view mirrors. Pero dito naman, may konting kaartihan yung pinaka casing ng mirror. And I appreciate this. It, this looks nice. Diba, hindi siya parang plain lang na, okay na, parang may side view mirror ko na. It's okay. If only they had beefier stems, na nakakabit dito. Maybe buy another one and ikabit to. And kailangan sakto pala sa bola. So, I wouldn't. Details naman. Okay. Okay, this is a bit regular. We see this. It's quite common. This one, kickstart for all practical reasons. Siyempre, okay din may kickstart. Pero, yung dating nito versus the whole sporty look of the bike, parang di bagay. Pero, buti na lang black so it can blend it. But me, artihan ko, tatanggalin ko yan. I mean, modern bikes naman, di naman mahirap paanda rin na to eh. Diba? Plastics and panels, all good quality. You know, Honda, walang katsipan. You got some gills going on here too for a better airflow. So I appreciate that. So you got the same carbonish look going on here at the back too. Yeah, this is pretty much straight up. It's sporty and I guess simple at the same time. The headlight, let's take a look when I turn things on. Ganda, no? That's a really nice headlight. One of the things I like about this also is the headlights. Upholstery, I would say, is in line with their direction na gusto nila maging sport. It's sobrang kapit nito. Halos isang dangkal. So it's not as wide, but it's a slim bike. But in terms of the foam, the pillion is not going to be as comfortable as, of course, the main rider where you have more play with the foam here. Pero pag nasalat nito, if you go to a shop and you feel this part here, ayan na, compact foam na siya dito and it's really, really matigas na. Dito okay pa siya. Let's take a look under the seat. Actually, it took me a while to find out where the key goes to open this thing and it's in that little hole over there. And if you're looking here, you can't really see it, which is in a way, pampalinis din ang motor. Let's take a look. Tada! At nakikita po naman natin. Really not enough space to put anything. But again, layout is nice and clean still. But again, zero, zero space. There's really nothing to put here. Maybe one chinelas. Let's try. I'm sure I can put one chinelas in there. I can fit eight chinelas in there. Let's up the ante here a bit. Try naman natin dalawa. Pwede tayong magbaan ng dalawang chinelas dito. <laughs> you know, in uh, Makina, we are very thorough. You know, we try everything here. Okay, it won't shut anymore. So hanggang isang chinelas lang talaga siya. Hanapin natin kung may mga secret compartments dito. Parang Nintendo game to minsan, di ba? Naghahanap kayo ng secret. Mga up, up, down, down. So pretty much straight up. That's what it looks like under the seat of the Supra. So marami siyang good things. If there's one thing that I would say, if there's a con, masasabi ko about sa bike na to, na might not sit well, literally, with some of you, is yung seating position natin dito. Kasi matarik siya. So 
in line with their whole push na gusto nila to maging sport under bone. Well, ganun na nga. This is not going to be the most comfortable thing for you. Magiget siya naman eh pag nag-long ride na kayo. Matali kasi siya eh. If this was a bit more flat, I don't know, maybe pag ganyan, then mas comfortable siya pang long ride. But then again, purpose nga naman ni Honda is pang diba, sport to. If you want to get into racing with this or something, eh, yun na yun. So, pasok siya, sub-sub talaga siya. So, that's one thing you're gonna get yourself into when you buy this is the riding comfort. Aralin nyo muna kung type nyo yung ganun. Obviously, kung racing-racing at uh, sporty ka, lang problema. In the website, they got around 40 plus and for me, bihira yun eh, yung natatalo ko yung rated manufacturer consumption. Because their testers, di ba, mas maliit sila sa akin, they're lighter than me, and they are in a controlled environment. Ako, nagtipid mode lang ako dito, and that is what I got. So, that's pretty impressive. Braking. Ah, pasensya na po tayo dito. As you can see, walang audio. May tinetesting kasi ako mic dito and hindi ko siya noon. So I'm really sorry about that. So the brakes of the GTR, I would say, has leeway to have even more bite. And surprising to sa akin kasi usually Honda brakes in this bracket medyo aggressive sila. This has a gentler feel if I were to describe it. Para siyang mas ingat in a way. Pero yun nga, diba? Dahil sport geared siya, you know, usually they design this to accommodate mods in the future. I said the vision is you want to see this on the racetrack, diba? So there's a lot of leeway for mods, pagkarerahan na. So where it is at this point, para dun sa mga gustong bumiling, under na lang at wala namang karera ang nasa isip, yung porno magamit lang, diba? Then it's fine. Sa hugis niya, genre, parang na-imagine ko lang, if I may give a little suggestion here, I think a nice color scheme here would be yung blue-white and a bit of gold from other Hondas that I see. Parang looking at the Supra, parang bagay din siya kung ganyan maging color scheme and I think it's gonna be a looker. So sana maraming variations na lalabas. Tapos provisions also, syempre, pagkarerahan na, di ba, accommodate thicker tires, performance tires, stuff like that. ABS again, this is what I've been pushing for in the 150cc category for the longest time and I hope this will become the norm that not too distant future. It's a matter of cost and sana syempre ma figure out nila yon. Ang dami na rin naka-ABS ngayon sa small displacement bikes so I'm hopeful. The price of this gem is at 102,900. Premiumly and competitively priced, I would say. Sa panahon ngayon, syempre napaka-importante i-consider ang price ng dahil sa uncertainty ng economy natin, 'di ba? I mean, who would have thought there's this virus that would pop up in our lifetime na matitigil ang mundo, 'di ba? So, in terms of economics, price is very important nowadays. While yes, nagiging primary choice na siya ngayon for traveling a motorcyclo, pero yun nga, ang katapat ay trabaho. I mean, because of what's going on right now, diba? I mean, magkakaroon pa ba ako ng trabaho para makabili ako ng motor? It's that chicken and egg scenario. So because of that, marami na rin magiging conscious of price, diba? Marami machochope because of the economy. But that's not because of the value of the bike, it's because of the crisis. Ang upside naman, diba? Kahit anong virus pa yan, Honda pa rin to eh, diba? You can look at it as an investment if that's how you feel about the price. As a rule of thumb, pag namamahalan ka, tignan mo yung brand. Labanan mo yung value. Figure out the equity of that in the long term. Diyan mo mababawi, di ba? Kesa naman bumili ka ng substandard cheap bike na in 3 years, more than half nang nilabas mo sunog na, tapos di ka pa sure sa quality. That's a bad investment. So still, di ba? Challenge to sa mga manufacturers in these trying times. Will they pivot and cut prices? If so, papano? Ano yung mga ikokompromiso nila? How will they go about it? Di ba? Yan ang mga iniisip ng mga bumibili at mga nagbebenta nowadays. Sa mga may kaya naman, eh, wala nang pag-uusapan pa. You can pull the trigger and just buy this and experience for yourself Honda's latest in the sport underbone segment and you're gonna have a lot of fun with this bike the Honda Supra GTR 150 eto po si Sir Zach na nagsasabing wag mang hahawa at wag magpahawa ciao para sa nakaraan kumawala at maglibot pinayuhan mo ang nalilito nalilito pa rin ako yakap lang ang Halit mo ang sapat Hindi naman tayo Ang gulo Ang gulo Ang gulo Minsan lang makaramdam Nang init tulad nito Ang hayaw ay ginusto Tuksong bagsak impyerno Pumatol sa bawang Sarap ng bawal Ang gulo, ang gulo, ang gulo Hindi natin malaman Kung saan ang pagsakan At kung ako masusunod 
kalasan ng nakaraan Kumawala at maglibot Pinayuhan mo ang nalilito Nalilito pa rin ako Yakap lang ang katapat Halik mo ang sapat Hindi naman tayo Ang gulo, ang gulo Sarap 